ever wondered what labels and selectors in Kubernetes are? Well, imagine you're in a library with thousands of books. How do you find that one book you're looking for? You could use the library's categorization system, right? In the world of Kubernetes, labels and selectors serve a similar purpose. Now, what exactly are these labels and selectors? Think of labels as sticky notes that you can attach to your Kubernetes objects. They are key value pairs that are used to organize and to select subsets of objects. They're like tags on a blog post or filters in an email system. For instance, you might label objects based on their environment, such as production or staging or based on their function like front-end or back-end. You can even create your own custom labels based on your specific needs. The beauty of labels is their flexibility. They don't directly imply semantics to the core system. The system doesn't interpret them and they are optional string attributes that can be used in any way the user sees fit. Chenisinch Tititi, on the other hand, selectors are like the search function in our library analogy. They allow you to filter and find the objects you've labeled. You can use selectors to select a set of objects based on their labels. In Kubernetes, selectors are used in various places to specify the groups of objects on which to operate. For example, if you've labeled some of your objects as front-end, you can use a selector to find all your front-end objects, just like how you would use the search function in a library to find all books by a specific author. So, to summarize, labels in Kubernetes are like sticky notes you attach to your objects to categorize them. They are key value pairs that allow you to organize and group your objects based on your specific needs. On the other hand, selectors are like the search function that allows you to filter and find the objects you've labeled. The key points to remember about labels and selectors in Kubernetes are 1. Labels are key value pairs that you attach to your objects to categorize and organize them. They are flexible and can be used in any way you see fit. Two, selectors are used to filter and find the objects you've labeled. They allow you to specify groups of objects on which to operate. And finally, labels and selectors work together to help you manage and organize your Kubernetes objects. Just like how the categorization system and search function work together in a library to help you find your books. So, the next time you're working with Kubernetes, remember to use labels and selectors to your advantage. They can make managing your objects a lot easier.